Hi, it's me again, Tunji from Caesar Graphics. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to make 3D Go text. And um, this is what we're going to be doing. And let's just quickly jump right in. Okay, so I already have my um, 500 by 500 document open. And I have my background ready. So the next thing I'm going to do is to type my text by coming to my text tool. And I'm going to type CG. CG is my name, is my company's name. So don't ask me and don't put it under my comments. All right, so I'll put 172 for my font size. Okay, now, um, before I forget, please, eh, whenever you're working on a project like this, always try to use a serif, serif font, all right? Serif font is always good for making this type of project, okay? Other fonts can also do it, but the best font for this type of project is serif, serif font, serif font. All right, so um, the next thing I'll do is to go to my FS icon here, effect icon, and I'll launch uh, my gradient overlay, yes. I have my gradient overlay already open and I am going to change the color of my gradient so I'll come here double click and I am going to type um, A1 seven seven one three now hit OK and I'll double click here and type F A C um five zero f all right and i'll hit okay then i'll drag this to delete this i'll drag it down to delete it and i'll click here and make a duplicate of it here so the next thing i'll do always remember to save this so to save it you can just type gold here and then hit save so you have it right here this is it here so now hit okay and um, so let's go. We're still coming back here, but let's go to our bevel and emboss option. So I'll click here and um, I'll make this active and I'll come here. Then I'll change this to inner bevel. My depth should be one, um, 792, I guess. Yeah, 792. And uh, my size should be 16. Okay. And. Um, yes, so I'm going to leave my angle to be 90, soften, soften should be 1, direction up, yeah, just leave everything the way it is, but the only thing you're going to adjust here is just the gloss contour, so I'm going to use this option here, alright, I'm sure somebody is saying wow, so it's already looking like it, so I'm going to hit, um, I am going to hit okay on this okay i think i'm fine with this but i'll go back to my gradient overlay again and increase the size of my scale now it's not compulsory you do this but for those of you that want to have different variants uh, different feel of your gradient overlay of gradient overlay on your text you can always you know change the scale all right so if i move it to this side i get darker um, um tone of my um gold effect but if i move it to this side i have the lighter part all right so i think i'm going to leave it um 100 and i am going to say okay okay so i'll say okay and the next thing i'm going to do is to apply my adjustment curve on the layer now if you click on the adjustment curve without putting this in a folder it won't work so i always advise you put this in a folder so i'm going to click on this icon folder icon and i'll rename this cg drag this and push this in so it's inside the folder now and i'll close it then i'll bring up my um, curve adjustments and click on this icon so as to make it to apply to just only this folder so i'll click on this icon now i'm telling photoshop that apply this effect to only this folder so I'll push this down here. I'll make this come down here. And I'll push this up. All right. I want my shadow to be more thicker. I want it to be more visible. Then my mid-tone should go down a bit. All right. Beautiful. And I'm going to say okay on that. And the next thing I'll, I'm going to bring is... 
I'm going to bring out my um, brightness adjustment by coming here and I'll click on the same icon still applying it to just this folder and I'll make this um, 48 no 48 48 I want 48 and I'll make this 5 Woo! delicious I'm sure somebody's liking this already alright so I am going to my level now let's go to level adjustments then say only apply to this already apply to the folder again just apply to the folder and uh, I'm going to uh, push this in to go here uh, yeah I like the fact that I have too much exposure on this side and this side of my um, font it makes it look shining like it makes it look more real so I'm gonna push this uh, in more to about this side all right and um, yeah so it's time for us to apply shadow to our text so to apply shadow I'll click on this again and I'll hold down control or command for Mac users so control on keyboard on them um, sorry on Windows not keyboard all right so I'm holding on control and I'll click here to bring out my Macui selection on the layer then I'll make a new layer by clicking here and I'll call this shadow 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 then um, my foreground should be black then I'll hit alt backspace alt backspace on my keyboard and I'll hit ctrl D so I have the um, uh, the feel of that uh, the shape the feel of the shape on that layer and I'll go to my filter and I say blur and select Gaussian blow alright Gaussian blow then I'll hit OK then I'll push it down a bit to about I'll use my up and down arrow key to move this down to about this level and the next thing I'll do is to make duplicate of it by hitting Ctrl J on my keyboard or Command J for Mac users so I'm hitting Ctrl J like two times one two and I'll shift select the three layer and I'll go to layer and then say Ctrl E which is match layers alright and I'll make a copy again of that layer and I'll go to filter blur uh, radio blur I mean sorry it should be motion blur motion blur motion blur alright okay so I'm gonna put this here and I'll hit OK then I'll push this down alright and I'll make this this way okay then and um, to add little feel or to make the text look more real we need to add noise to it so to apply noise to to apply noise to it first thing you need to do is to make a new layer and then call it noise this will make it look more real all right and I am going to um, go to filter noise and say add noise sorry I forgot to add black to the layer so to add black to the layer first of all make sure your set your foreground color and your background color is set to black so to make it set to black and white sorry make it make sure it's set to black and white so to make it set to black and white click on this icon all right and you have this but the shortcut is D on your keyboard when you hit D on your keyboard it automatically change to um, black and white so I'll select the noise layer and then I'll hold alt and backspace to fill the layer with black and the next thing I'm going to do is to go to filter I'll select noise and say add noise all right so I'll make my noise more visible by moving this up but here I like um, all right let's leave it as this okay you know what yeah let me just leave it like this and I'll say okay then I need to change this to black and white to change this to black and white I'll go to image adjustment and then select um, the saturate that's the shortcut in front of it Boom. then I'll come here and say soft light it should be screen or overlay let's try overlay overlay will make it too dark yes no let's leave it as screen all right and now if you notice I don't want it to apply to the background so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come here hold down control again and hit um, 
and click on this on the T icon and I'll come here and select I hope you enjoyed this tutorial I'll see you guys next in another video bye